Time flies, guys. I mean, I can't believe it. It's 25 years since the first Boxster was launched. 25 years. I always loved the Boxster. When it came out 25 years ago, when the first model was introduced, I thought, wow, that's a perfect alternative to the, to the 911. I mean, people naysayers there said, you know, that's, that's the 911 for poor guys, which is, it's, it's, it's bullshit. It's a sports car on its own. Don't get me wrong, a 911 convertible or the R8 Spider are absolutely perfect cars. They're beautiful to look at. But in a, in a, in a Porsche Boxster Spider, like the one I'm in right now, you feel much more, you know, it's like going back in time with this car. It's, it's not overly modern. I will <laughs> demonstrate this right now when I find a parking spot and try to open this roof. This road around the Cape Peninsula is, is a perfect Porsche Boxster Spider territory. I mean, it's windy, it's a bit rough, but it's, it's beautiful. It feels like going back in time, not only with the car, but with the road surface as well. I even would go as far as to say, if somebody tells me you can only have one car until the end of your motoring career, or your motoring life, <laughs> which would it be? I think, I think it would be, no, I'm convinced it would be, the Porsche Boxster Spider. Not in silver, in yellow, but it would be this car. From all the Boxsters ever built, this one, the Porsche Boxster Spider, is the most beautiful. I absolutely adore those lines, especially those two little humps in the back, reminding me of another really beautiful Porsche design, the Carrera GT. It would have been easy for Porsche to put a button in this car to make the soft top fully automatic, but they didn't. They created a sort of challenge for the driver. They want you, as a driver and owner, to bond with the car, to touch it, to have the haptic quality of opening a roof like this, to touch the fabric by hand, hands on. It's analog, not digital. It feels like owning a classic car. And with classic cars, you know, the relationship between driver and car was always much more much more intense. This intensity is coming back with this one. I'm a mechanical idiot, but by opening this roof, this gives me a personal sort of almost an achievement. And then as a reward, I'm allowed to drive it topless into the most beautiful landscape on earth. <laughs> Okay, finally I managed to get the roof down. That's how the car should be driven, with the top down. Can you hear this glorious sound of the flat six four liter engine? Whoa! <laughs> That's what it's all about. Perfect summer day, open convertible. Uh, convertible is not the right word, it's a roadster. It's a sports car, it's like what sports cars used to be. <laughs> it's addictive. The car is like me, naturally aspirated. Woo -woo. This is pure bliss for car nuts. It can't get any better. Woo -hoo. Man, this is beautiful. Thanks, Porsche. Thanks for building this. I mean, electrification is okay, Porsche. The Taycan is a fantastic vehicle, but I'm so glad, I'm so thankful that you are still producing something like this. It is very obvious that the Porsche engineers didn't mean for you to drive this car with the top up. They want you to enjoy this roadster in a species-appropriate way. Topless. This car is all about connecting with the driver. I mean, look at this, it doesn't even have door handles. It has a strap. But if they wanted to save weight, they could have got rid of the cup holders, but they didn't. The interior of the car is quite analog. It's classic, it's, it looks like a classic Porsche. They didn't really want to save weight by not putting door handles in, they just did it to make it look like a race car. And it works, it looks good. 
This car looks classic, but it's not a compromise in any way. It's, it's pure Porsche craftsmanship. It's very, very well done inside, but it makes you feel nostalgic almost by paying homage to the heritage of Porsche. Porsche is demonstrating impressively that they can do both. Fully electric in a rather entertaining way, shown in the Taycan, and pure old school naturally aspirated bliss, which I was privileged to experience today. Danke Porsche.